The role of a project management consultant PMC is pivotal in ensuring the successful execution of complex projects, particularly in industries where precision, coordination, and adherence to stringent standards are critical. Acting as an independent entity, the PMC brings specialized expertise to manage the various phases of a project, from planning and design through to execution and completion. Their responsibilities extend beyond mere oversight, they are integral to the strategic alignment of project goals, risk management, and the facilitation of communication among stakeholders. The following outlines the specific roles and responsibilities that the PMC undertakes to ensure project success. The Project Management Consultant, PMC, will play a crucial role in overseeing and managing the various aspects of the project. The key roles and responsibilities of the PMC include Team Leadership the PMC is responsible for providing a team leader and assembling a multidisciplinary team that covers all necessary disciplines to effectively manage the project during the feed, front-end engineering design, and EPC, engineering, procurement, and construction phases. Independent project management. The PMC will deliver a comprehensive independent project management service, ensuring that all aspects of the project are managed efficiently and effectively. This includes coordinating with contractors, overseeing project schedules, and ensuring adherence to project plans and standards. Reporting. The PMC will report directly to the project manager, providing regular updates on project progress, potential risks, and any necessary adjustments. The PMC will be accountable for their actions and decisions, ensuring transparency and consistency in project execution. Financial oversight. The PMC will assist in managing the financial aspects of the project, ensuring that all expenditures are within approved budgets and that financial approvals are obtained in accordance with the project's governance structure. Quality and Compliance The PMC will be responsible for ensuring that the project adheres to all relevant quality standards and regulatory requirements. This includes overseeing the work of contractors, ensuring compliance with safety and environmental regulations, and maintaining high standards of quality throughout the project lifecycle. Coordination and communication. The PMC will facilitate communication and coordination between various stakeholders, including contractors, the project management team, and other relevant parties. This ensures that all parties are aligned with the project objectives and that any issues are promptly addressed. Risk management. The PMC will identify potential risks to the project and develop strategies to mitigate these risks. This includes anticipating challenges, developing contingency plans, and ensuring that the project remains on track despite any unforeseen obstacles. Documentation and reporting. The PMC will be responsible for maintaining accurate and up-to-date project documentation, including progress reports, meeting minutes, and other relevant records. This documentation will be used to inform stakeholders and guide decision-making throughout the project. The effective organization and structuring of project teams are fundamental to the success of any large-scale project. Establishing clear lines of communication, well-defined roles, and a robust reporting structure is essential for maintaining control and ensuring that all parties are aligned with the project's goals. The organizational framework not only facilitates coordination among various stakeholders, but also ensures accountability at every level of the project. Below is a detailed outline of the organizational structure and the relationships involved in the project. The relationship of the parties involved in the project and reporting lines is established to ensure clear communication and accountability throughout the project's life cycle. The Project Management Team, PMT, will have overall responsibility for the project, supported by the Project Management Consultant, PMC. The organizational structure will include Project Management Team. The PMT will oversee the entire project, ensuring that it aligns with the strategic objectives and timelines. They will coordinate with the PMC to manage various aspects of the project, including engineering, project controls, construction, and operations. Project Management Consultant, PMC. Reporting directly to the PMT, the PMC will take on the day-to-day -day management of the project. The PMC is responsible for ensuring that the work carried out by contractors is in line with the project's specifications, 
timelines, and quality standards. Contractors feed EPC. The contractors responsible for the front-end engineering design feed and engineering procurement and construction EPC phases will report to the PMC. The PMC will supervise their work, ensuring that it meets the required standards and is completed on schedule. This organizational structure is designed to facilitate seamless communication and coordination among all parties, ensuring that the project is executed efficiently and effectively with clear accountability at every stage. In a large-scale project, clearly delineating the boundaries of responsibilities between the project management team, PMT, project management consultant, PMC, and contractors is crucial for effective project execution. Each of these entities plays a distinct role, and their responsibilities are defined to ensure smooth collaboration, minimize conflicts, and maintain focus on the project objectives. Here's a detailed explanation of the boundaries of responsibilities between the PMT, PMC, and contractors. Project Management Team. Strategic Oversight. The PMT holds overall responsibility for the project, ensuring it aligns with the organization's strategic goals and objectives. The PMT provides the high-level direction and approvals needed to keep the project on course, including major financial decisions, changes in scope, and key milestones. Decision-Making Authority. The PMT has the final say on major decisions, including those related to project scope, timelines, and budgetary allocations. The PMT delegates specific tasks to the PMC and ensures that the project adheres to the broader organizational standards and policies. Coordination with stakeholders. The PMT is responsible for maintaining communication with high-level stakeholders, including senior management and, in some cases, external partners or shareholders. They ensure that stakeholder expectations are met and that the project remains transparent and accountable to those with vested interests. Project Management Consultant, PMC. Day-to-day -day management. The PMC is tasked with the daily management of the project, overseeing the operational aspects that ensure the project progresses according to plan. They coordinate the work of contractors, ensuring that all activities are aligned with the project's objectives, timelines, and quality standards. Implementation and supervision. The PMC supervises the work carried out by contractors during the feed, front-end engineering design, and EPC, engineering procurement and construction phases, ensuring compliance with specifications and contractual obligations. The PMC manages the project schedule, tracks progress, and resolves any issues that arise during execution. Reporting and communication. The PMC serves as the primary liaison between the PMT and contractors, ensuring that all parties are kept informed of progress and any potential issues. They are responsible for providing regular updates to the PMT, including detailed reports on project status, risks, and any necessary adjustments. Risk and quality management. The PMC monitors project risks and implements mitigation strategies to address potential challenges. They ensure that all work meets the required quality standards and adheres to safety and environmental regulations. Execution of technical work. Contractors are responsible for the hands-on execution of the project's technical work, including design, engineering, procurement, and construction activities. They must adhere to the specifications, timelines, and quality standards outlined in their contracts with the PMC. Compliance and performance. Contractors are expected to comply with all project specifications, safety regulations, and quality standards as mandated by the PMC. They are accountable for delivering their work on time and within budget according to the terms of their contract. Reporting to PMC. Contractors report directly to the PMC, providing regular updates on their progress and any issues encountered. They collaborate closely with the PMC to address any technical or logistical challenges that arise during the project. Limited decision-making scope. While contractors have the expertise to make technical decisions related to their work, any changes that affect the overall project scope, budget, or schedule must be approved by the PMC and, if significant, by the PMT. Summary of boundaries. PM is responsible for strategic oversight, high-level decision-making, and stakeholder coordination. PMC manages day-to-day -day operations, supervises contractors, handles communication between all parties, and ensures compliance with project standards.
Contractors execute the technical aspects of the project, adhering to the specifications provided by the PMC and reporting on progress and issues as they arise. By clearly defining these boundaries, the project can be managed more effectively, with each party understanding their role and responsibilities, leading to a more streamlined and successful project execution. In large-scale projects, developing an appropriate pricing strategy is essential to align financial management with project goals, while ensuring transparency and fairness in contractor engagements. A well-structured pricing strategy not only helps manage project costs effectively, but also establishes clear expectations and accountability between the project management consultant, PMC, and contractors. The following outlines the key aspects of the pricing strategy, along with the roles and responsibilities of the involved parties, ensuring that financial operations are conducted efficiently and in alignment with the project's objectives. Pricing Strategy The pricing strategy for the project management consultant, PMC, and contractor engagements is designed to ensure that the financial aspects of the project are managed transparently and efficiently with clear guidelines on cost control and reimbursement. The strategy includes the following key elements. Reimbursable basis. All PMC tender contract engagements will be issued on a reimbursable basis. This means that the PMC will be compensated for the actual costs incurred during the project, including team member salaries, overheads, and any additional project-related expenses. The reimbursable basis helps ensure that the PMC is compensated fairly for the resources they commit to the project, without inflating costs or engaging in unnecessary expenditure. Team Size and Composition The size and composition of the PMC team will be determined by the Project Management Team, PMT, based on the specific needs and scope of the project. This ensures that the team is appropriately scaled to handle the project's demands without overstaffing or under-resourcing. The PMC must confirm their acceptance of the proposed team size and composition before the commercial bids are opened. This step is crucial to align expectations and avoid any discrepancies later in the project. Rates and Working Hours The rates for PMC personnel will be calculated on a monthly basis, considering the standard working hours during different project phases. During the feed, front-end engineering design and EPC, engineering procurement and construction design phases, the standard working week will be 40 hours. However, during construction activities on site, the working week will extend to 60 hours. In addition to the base salary, the PMC will be reimbursed for relevant mobilization and demobilization costs, as well as any applicable per diem rates for team members working on site or traveling for project-related activities. Cost Control and Transparency The PMC is responsible for maintaining detailed records of all expenses incurred during the project. These records must be transparent and available for review by the PMT at any time to ensure that the project remains within budget and that all costs are justified. Regular financial reporting from the PMC to the PMT will be required, including updates on actual versus projected costs, any variances, and propose corrective actions to address budgetary concerns. Approval and Compliance The PMC must obtain approval from the PMT for any significant expenditures or changes to the agreed-upon budget. This includes obtaining prior approval for any change orders or additional costs that were not included in the original contract. The PMC will be held accountable for ensuring that all financial transactions are conducted in compliance with the project's financial policies and any relevant regulatory requirements. Summary of Responsibilities PM Responsible for determining the PMC team size, approving budgets and expenditures, and overseeing financial compliance and reporting. Tasked with managing project finances on a reimbursable basis, maintaining transparency in cost reporting, and ensuring that all financial activities align with the project's budgetary constraints. Contractors required to adhere to the financial terms set out in their contracts, providing accurate cost estimates and adhering to agreed-upon budgets, with any deviations subject to approval by the PMC and PMT. This pricing strategy establishes a clear framework for managing the financial aspects of the project, ensuring that all parties are fairly compensated while maintaining strict control over project costs. The Statement of Requirements for the Project Management Consultant PMC 
is a critical document that guides the execution of the project, ensuring that all phases are managed in accordance with the defined scope and standards. The SOR is developed on a project-by-project -project basis and is tailored to the specific needs and challenges of each project. The SOR typically includes the following key components. One, during the feed, front-end engineering design, or define stage, the SOAR will outline the responsibilities of the PMC in overseeing the early phases of project development. This stage includes project quality and HSE plans, review and update project quality and health, safety, and environmental HSE plans to ensure they meet the required standards and are aligned with project objectives, post-contract administration, manage the post-post-contract administration of the feed consultant, including the review and approval of procedures, method statements, schedules, planning packages, and general correspondence. Ensure timely processing of invoices and other financial documents related to the feed phase. Supervision and compliance. Supervise the activities of the feed consultant, ensuring compliance with project standards, international standards, and practices and HSE regulations. Monitor resource levels and ensure that the project is adequately staffed to meet its objectives. Change management. Control and manage change orders, both commercial and technical, including the evaluation of value engineering, VE proposals, and approval recommendations. Design and cost validation. Review and validate the design and engineering work completed by the feed consultant, ensuring it aligns with project specifications and objectives. Validate the project cost estimates provided by the feed consultant to ensure accuracy and feasibility. Coordination and reporting. Coordinate interfaces with other operating companies and ensure effective communication with the project management team. Provide regular progress reports to the general management and shareholders, keeping them informed of project developments. HSE and engineering reviews. Manage HSE studies, quantitative risk assessments, QRA, and engineering reviews, ensuring that approved recommendations are incorporated into the feed. Tendering and procurement. Oversee the preparation of long lead items LI tenders, including bidder list preparation, requisition reviews, and technical evaluations. Coordinate the preparation of the EPC invitation to tender, ITT package, ensuring that all technical and commercial aspects are covered. The EPC, Engineering, Procurement, and Construction Stage SOAR, details the PMC's responsibilities during the later phases of the project, including construction and commissioning. This stage includes project quality and HSE plans. Review and update project quality and HSE plans to ensure they meet the evolving needs of the project during the EPC phase. Post-contract administration. Manage the post-contract administration of the EPC contractor, including the review and approval of procedures, method statements, schedules, and general correspondence. Supervision and compliance. Supervise contractor activities during detailed design, construction, pre-commissioning, and commissioning stages, ensuring adherence to project standards, international standards and practices, and HSE regulations. Procurement and material management. Oversee the procurement process, including bid evaluations, vendor drawing approvals, and participation in witness testing. Ensure proper management of materials, including the review and approval of third-party inspection, TPI reports, and coordination of shipping and delivery to the site. Construction and commissioning. Assist in the development and review of construction, pre-commissioning and commissioning plans, ensuring they align with project schedules and objectives. Monitor construction activities, ensuring that resources are allocated effectively and that any delays are addressed promptly. Documentation and closeout. Review and approve project as built drawings and the project design dossier prepared by the EPC contractor. Prepare contractor performance reports and project closeout reports, providing recommendations for future projects. Summary of responsibilities. PMT oversees the development and approval of the SOR ensuring that it aligns with the overall project strategy and objectives. PMC, responsible for executing the tasks outlined in the SOR, managing the project through both the feed, define, and EPC stages, and ensuring compliance with all project standards and requirements. Contractors, required to adhere to the specifications and requirements outlined in the SOR, delivering work that meets the project's quality, 
schedule, and budgetary constraints. The Statement of Requirements serves as a blueprint for the project, ensuring that all parties are aligned with the project's goals and expectations from the outset. By clearly defining roles, responsibilities, and deliverables, the SOR helps to mitigate risks and ensures that the project is executed efficiently and successfully. Effective relationships and clear reporting structures are essential for the smooth execution of any large-scale project. The relationships between the Project Management Consultant, PMC, the Project Management Team, PMT, and other stakeholders must be well-defined to ensure efficient communication, accountability, and decision-making throughout the project's life cycle. Below is an outline of the key relationships and reporting mechanisms designed to facilitate collaboration and maintain project integrity. Relationships and reporting for PMC. The organizational structure of the project establishes clear lines of communication and responsibility between the various stakeholders involved. The following outlines the key relationships and reporting lines that are essential for the successful management of the project. Role and responsibility. The PMT has overarching responsibility for the project, providing strategic direction and ensuring that the project aligns with organizational goals. The PMT oversees the PMC and ensures that the project remains on track, within budget, and meets quality standards. Reporting. The PMC reports directly to the PMT, providing regular updates on project progress, potential risks, and any issues that require resolution at a higher level. Project Management Consultant, PMC, Role and Responsibility The PMC is responsible for the day-to-day -day management of the project, ensuring that all activities are executed according to the project plan and in compliance with international standards and practices. The PMC coordinates with contractors and other stakeholders to ensure that all work is completed on time, within budget, and to the required quality standards. Reporting Structure The PMC provides detailed reports to the PMT on a regular basis including progress reports, financial updates, and risk assessments. The PMC is also responsible for escalating any critical issues that may impact the project's success. Independent reporting. In addition to regular reports to the PMT, the PMC may also provide independent monthly project progress reports to senior management and shareholders, ensuring transparency and accountability at all levels. Contractors feed EPC. Role and responsibility. Contractors engage during the feed, front-end engineering design, and EPC, engineering procurement and construction, phases are responsible for executing the technical aspects of the project. They must adhere to the specifications, timelines, and standards set forth by the PMC. Reporting. Contractors report directly to the PMC, providing updates on their progress and any challenges they encounter. The PMC consolidates these reports and communicates relevant information to the PMT, ensuring that any issues are addressed promptly. Senior Management and Shareholders Role and Responsibility Senior Management and Shareholders have a vested interest in the project's success and may require regular updates on its progress. They rely on the PMT and PMC to ensure that the project is executed in line with the organization's strategic objectives. Reporting. The PMC may be required to submit independent reports directly to senior management and shareholders, providing an unbiased assessment of the project's status and any potential risks. Summary of relationships and reporting. PMT provides strategic oversight, approves key decisions, and receives regular reports from the PMC. PMC manages day-to-day -day operations, coordinates with contractors, and reports to the PMT while also providing independent updates to senior management and shareholders. Contractors. Execute technical work according to project specifications and report to the PMC, ensuring alignment with project goals and timelines. Senior management and shareholders receive independent progress reports from the PMC, ensuring transparency and accountability. This well-defined organizational structure and reporting mechanism ensure that all parties are aligned with the project's objectives facilitating efficient communication, decision-making, and successful project execution. In large-scale projects, the effective management of long lead items, LLIs, 
and the preparation of comprehensive invitation to tender ITT packages are critical to ensuring timely procurement and smooth project execution. Long lead items, which often have extended manufacturing or delivery times, require careful planning and coordination. The preparation of ITT packages, which define the project's scope and requirements for potential contractors, is equally crucial in setting the stage for successful project completion. Below is an outline of the responsibilities and processes involved in managing long lead items and preparing ITT packages. Long lead items and EPC invitation to tender package. The management of long lead items, LLIs, and the preparation of the EPC invitation to tender ITT package are vital components of the project's procurement strategy. These elements ensure that key materials and services are secured in a timely manner and that potential contractors have a clear understanding of the project's requirements. The following details the responsibilities of the Project Management Consultant, PMC, in these areas. Long Lead Items, LIs, Management, Preparation of Bidders List. The PMC is responsible for preparing a list of potential bidders for long lead items. This list is compiled based on the project's specific needs, ensuring that only qualified vendors are considered. The bidder's list is submitted for approval by the Project Management Team, PMT, ensuring alignment with the project's procurement strategy. Requisition Reviews The PMC reviews the requisitions for long lead items to ensure they meet the project's technical and commercial requirements. This involves verifying that specifications are clear and that all necessary details are included to avoid delays in the procurement process. Invitation to Tender, ITT, Preparation the PMC prepares the ITT packages for long lead items, which include detailed specifications, scope of work, commercial terms, and delivery schedules. These packages are critical for ensuring that vendors fully understand the project's requirements. The PMC coordinates the issuance of tender bulletins and clarifications during the bidding process, addressing any questions from potential bidders to ensure accurate and competitive proposals. Technical and Commercial Evaluation the PMC oversees the technical evaluation of bids submitted by vendors, ensuring that all proposals meet the project's technical criteria. The PMC also carries out the commercial evaluation of bids, comparing costs and terms to identify the best value for the project. Based on these evaluations, the PMC prepares a comprehensive commercial evaluation report and award recommendation, which is submitted to the PMT for approval. Post-Contract Administration Once contracts are awarded, the PMC is responsible for the post-contract administration of long lead items. This includes monitoring vendor performance, ensuring timely delivery, and managing any necessary contract adjustments. Preparation of EPC Invitation to Tender Package Technical Package Coordination The PMC coordinates the preparation of the technical package for the EPC ITT working clearly with the feed consultant to ensure that all technical requirements are clearly defined and documented. The technical package includes detailed specifications, drawings, and standards that the EPC contractor must adhere to during the project. Development of Commercial Section The PMC develops the commercial section of the EPC ITT, ensuring that it aligns with the project's overall commercial strategy and complies with international standards and practices. This section includes terms of payment, warranties, penalties, and other commercial conditions that govern the contract. Execution Requirements and Tender Coordination The PMC prepares detailed execution requirements for the EPC bidder, outlining the expectations for project execution, including timelines, resource allocation, and key deliverables. The PMC consolidates the entire tender package, ensuring that all sections are complete and consistent, and routes it for review and approval by the PMT. The PMC also coordinates site visits for potential bidders, issues tender bulletins to address any queries, and manages the overall tender process to ensure that it is conducted fairly and transparently. Evaluation and Award Recommendation The PMC oversees the technical evaluation of EPC bids, ensuring that all proposals meet the project's technical and operational requirements. The PMC prepares the commercial evaluation of bids and submits a final award recommendation to the PMT for approval. Contract Preparation and Approval 
Once the winning bid is selected, the PMC prepares the EPC contract, ensuring that all technical and commercial terms are accurately reflected. The contract is then routed for functional review and approval by the PMT before being issued to the selected contractor. Summary of Responsibilities PMC manages the preparation of bidders lists, ITT packages, and the evaluation process for long lead items and EPC contracts. Responsible for coordinating technical and commercial evaluations, ensuring compliance with project standards, and overseeing post-contract administration. Approves bidders lists, commercial evaluation reports, and final award recommendations. Reviews and approves the final EPC contract before issuance. Contractors required to adhere to the specifications and requirements outlined in the ITT packages and deliver long lead items and EPC work in accordance with the agreed contract terms. By clearly defining these responsibilities, the project can efficiently manage long lead items and prepare comprehensive ITT packages, ensuring that all necessary materials and services are procured on time and within budget, thereby supporting the successful execution of the project. Quality, safety, and environmental management are critical components of any large-scale project. Ensuring that these aspects are meticulously planned, monitored, and executed is essential for the success of the project, as they directly impact the well-being of personnel, the integrity of the project, and its compliance with legal and environmental regulations. The Project Management Consultant, PMC, plays a pivotal role in overseeing these areas, ensuring that all activities are conducted according to the highest standards. Below is an outline of the responsibilities related to quality, safety, and environmental management. Sester, Quality, Safety, and Environmental Management. The Project Management Consultant, PMC, is tasked with the critical responsibility of overseeing the quality, safety, and environmental aspects of the project. These responsibilities ensure that the project not only meets its technical and operational objectives, but also adheres to the highest standards of safety and environmental stewardship. The following outlines the key roles and responsibilities of the PMC in these areas. Project Quality Management Project Quality Plan PQP The PMC is responsible for updating the Project Quality Plan PQP to ensure it aligns with international standards and best practices. The PQP serves as the foundation for maintaining quality throughout the project lifecycle. The PMC reviews and verifies the EPC contractor's quality plans and ensures they comply with the project's quality standards and requirements. This includes reviewing the quality documentation submitted by subcontractors and vendors to ensure consistency and compliance. Quality Audits the PMC participates in planned quality audits during different phases of the project to ensure that all activities are conducted in accordance with the established quality standards. These audits help identify any areas of non-compliance or potential issues, allowing for timely corrective actions to be implemented. Vendor and Subcontractor Quality Assurance the PMC reviews and approves the quality documentation submitted by vendors and subcontractors, ensuring that their work meets the project's specifications and standards. The PMC ensures that all equipment and materials supplied by vendors comply with the project's quality requirements before they are integrated into the project. Design Safety The PMC is responsible for ensuring that all aspects of design safety are reviewed and incorporated into the project by the EPC contractor. This includes verifying that safety considerations are integrated into the design to prevent accidents and ensure operational safety. The PMC monitors the design process to ensure that safety standards are maintained and that any potential hazards are identified and mitigated. Construction Safety the PMC oversees the EPC contractor's planning and execution of construction activities to ensure that safety issues are adequately addressed and that safe working practices are implemented on site. The PMC monitors the adherence to safety protocols and conducts regular inspections to ensure that the construction site remains compliant with safety regulations. The PMC is responsible for advising the project management team PMT, of any deviations or inconsistencies related to safety practices and proposing corrective actions to address these issues. Safety Training and Awareness 
The PMC ensures that all personnel involved in the project receive appropriate safety training and are aware of the safety protocols in place. The PMC promotes a culture of safety on the project site, encouraging all team members to prioritize safety in their daily activities. Environment. The PMC ensures that the EPC contractor meets all environmental requirements included in the contract specifications. This involves reviewing environmental documentation and verifying that all activities comply with environmental regulations and standards. The PMC monitors the project's environmental impact, ensuring that any potential issues are identified and addressed promptly. Sustainable Practices the PMC promotes the implementation of sustainable practices throughout the project, minimizing the environmental footprint and ensuring that resources are used efficiently. The PMC collaborates with the EPC contractor to identify opportunities for reducing waste, conserving energy, and protecting natural resources during the project. Summary of Responsibilities PMC oversees the development and implementation of quality, safety, and environmental plans ensuring compliance with international standards. Conducts audits, monitors safety practices, and ensures environmental sustainability throughout the project life cycle. EPC contractor, responsible for adhering to the quality, safety, and environmental requirements outlined in the project specifications. Implements safety protocols, manages environmental impact, and ensures that all work meets the required standards. Provides oversight and approval for quality, safety, and environmental plans. Reviews audit findings and ensures that corrective actions are implemented as necessary. By clearly defining these roles and responsibilities, the project can maintain high standards of quality, safety, and environmental stewardship, ensuring that the project is not only successful, but also responsible and sustainable. Effective materials management, particularly in large-scale projects, is essential to ensure that all necessary materials and equipment are procured, inspected, and delivered on time and in accordance with the project's specifications. The Project Management Consultant, PMC, plays a crucial role in overseeing the materials management process, ensuring that the procurement, inspection, and handling of materials are conducted efficiently and align with the project's objectives. Below is an outline of the responsibilities and processes involved in managing materials during the project. Materials Management The Project Management Consultant, PMC, is responsible for overseeing the materials management process, ensuring that all procurement, expediting, inspection, and material control activities are performed in alignment with the project's requirements and international standards. This involves close coordination with the EPC, Engineering, procurement, and construction contractor and other stakeholders to ensure that materials are delivered on time, meet the required quality standards, and are properly managed throughout the project life cycle. The following outlines the key responsibilities of the PMC in materials management. Oversight. Review of procurement procedures. The PMC is responsible for reviewing the EPC contractor's procurement procedures to ensure they are consistent with the project standards and requirements. This review includes verifying that procurement activities are aligned with the project's schedule and that all materials and equipment meet the specified quality standards. Vendor selection and compliance. The PMC monitors the EPC contractor's vendor selection process, ensuring that proposed vendors comply with the project's approved vendor list and selection criteria. The PMC reviews the equipment and materials proposed by the EPC contractor to verify their compliance with the project's specifications and international standards. Order placement and progress monitoring. The PMC tracks the placement of orders and monitors the manufacturing progress of critical equipment to ensure that delivery timelines are met. This includes coordinating with the EPC contractor to address any potential delays or issues that may arise during the procurement process. Expediting and inspection. Expediting activities. The PMC monitors the planning and execution of expediting activities, ensuring that any delays in the procurement process are promptly addressed and that corrective actions are implemented as necessary. The PMC works closely with the EPC contractor to ensure that materials and equipment are delivered to the site in accordance with the project schedule. Inspection and quality assurance. 
The PMC oversees the inspection process, reviewing the EPC contractors and third-party inspection, TPI, reports to ensure that all materials and equipment meet the required quality standards. The PMC liaises with the appointed third-party inspectors to verify that inspections are conducted in accordance with international standards and that any nonconformances are addressed. Documentation and Compliance The PMC ensures that all vendor documentation, including instruction manuals and inspection reports, is assembled and reviewed by the relevant stakeholders before equipment is delivered to the site. The PMC verifies that procurement records and reports are maintained in good order ensuring full traceability and compliance with the project's documentation requirements. Material Control and Site Management Shipping and Delivery Coordination The PMC reviews the EPC contractor's shipping activities, ensuring that the dispatch of materials to the site is efficient and that all necessary documentation is prepared for the import of goods. The PMC monitors the delivery of materials to the site ensuring that they are handled, stored, and maintained in accordance with the project's standards and requirements. Material Control and Inventory Management The PMC checks the third-party inspection reports and ensures that any corrective actions are properly closed before materials are accepted on-site. The PMC monitors the EPC contractor's material control activities, verifying that all materials are properly inventoried and tracked throughout the project. Coordination with construction activities. The PMC coordinates with the EPC contractor to ensure that materials are available when needed for construction activities, avoiding any delays that could impact the project schedule. The PMC ensures that all materials are handled safely and stored in a manner that prevents damage or degradation, supporting the overall quality and safety of the project. Summary of responsibilities. PMC oversees the entire materials management process from procurement and expediting to inspection and material control, ensures that all activities comply with the project standards and international practices, and coordinates with the EPC contractor to maintain project schedules. EPC contractor, responsible for executing procurement, inspection, and material control activities in accordance with the project's specifications provides regular updates to the PMC and addresses any issues that arise during the materials management process. Vendors and third-party inspectors must comply with the project's quality standards and provide the necessary documentation and support for inspections and audits conducted by the PMC. By clearly defining these roles and responsibilities, the project can ensure that materials management is conducted efficiently reducing the risk of delays or quality issues and supporting the successful execution of the project.